Yo, yo, yo. What's good, everybody? What's good? This your boy JPL, aka Out from the North 18, aka Big Out, back with another one. So, I'm sure y'all heard that Samantha Lee, yes, Miss Samantha Lee, the one that be on YouTube trying to give all this great advice, like she's such a sweetheart, was rewarded $653,000 from Tyrese Gibson. Now, what's interesting is, shout out to my boy Andy Appleseed. Make sure y'all go over there and check him out. Make sure you subscribe. Dope content creator. Now, what's weird is, She's talking about the situation beforehand. What she could have done better, blase, squaze, and all of this. Now, a lot of people may think that she gives great advice and all of that, but they're not paying attention to the case. And I think she was doing damage control because for a little while she's been speaking about her ex off and on and making it seem like, you know, she could have been a better person and all of that. And seeming like she's trying to take some accountability, but it sounds like cat to me once you hear Tyrese side of things. But I want to go ahead and play what she had to say first because it's a lot of cap in there. I'm just gonna say that. But once again, shout out to my boy Andy Appleseed. Got his link down in the description so y'all can go to his channel and subscribe. So before I get started, make sure y'all like, share. And subscribe so let's go ahead and get into it this is your boy andy appleseed andy appleseed tv is the name of the channel make sure you like share it your boy with a comment if you're new here hit that subscribe button one time we got the latest and greatest hip-hop news in these youtube streets let's get it in let's go latest news take the social make sure you smack that like button welcome back to andy appleseed tv we're gonna jump straight into this live stream moment by samantha lee known as tyrese ex-wife recently tyrese was trending on social media after he revealed that he was going through somewhat of a depression from taking medication now we all know he went through a wicked divorce his ex-wife actually spoke out in a live now she did break down her opinions and thoughts about this whole situation she mentioned she felt like she rushed to go to that lawyer for the divorce a little bit too quick while in the live stream i did ask her the question does she feel like she actually broke tyree's heart and she answered it Latest news hit the social, let's jump straight into the words of Samantha Lee. I do feel in my opinion these two have a bond that's extra strong. This marriage could have been worked out. Drop your opinions in the comment section after you see the full live. Let me know how you feel about it. Is there still a chance for Tyrese and Samantha? Latest news hit the social. Stay strong, Ty. Um, the lawyers had a field day. Yes, they did. They did have a field day, you know. And that's something that, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, I you know... There's a, there's things that, you know, I regret about my journey, right? There's things I, I regret about my journey in the, in it. And I think one of the, one of the things I regret the most probably was involving lawyers so soon. Um, I think that you can't involve legal. Um, you know, I, I, you can't, you can't do that, you know, cause lawyers, right. They're, they're trying to get what they get, you know, and, I think that you can allow lawyers to amp you up. And um, I think that I allow things to happen in the legal process to make me uh, really cold in the sense of, um, you know, how do I say it? And this is me being honest with y'all. I think that when you get people in your ear, and they're telling you what's being said and you can get angry what's being said divorces are ugly people say ugly things in a divorce process it's a dog fight and i'm a kind of person in the past to be honest with y'all that um people tell me if you tell me enough negative i'm be like okay bet i'm out here's the thing now, I want y'all to keep that in mind. If you tell me enough negative, I'm out. Now, what kind of person who actually loves somebody would do them like that, right? You allow somebody to get in your ear about somebody you love, somebody that you've been with, you've been, you're married to, they, they provided well for you and your child, or y'all child, please excuse me, for y'all child, and you let some strangers get in your ear to make you become nasty to somebody now i want y'all to keep that in mind she allowed the lawyers 
to get in her ear and start to pr proceed to be nasty and try to get what they could get and get her something because you got to remember the lawyers get paid when the woman gets paid a lot of times women may not really pay nothing because when they win their case which is like nine out of ten times the husband pays for their lawyers yeah so please i want y'all to keep that in mind she let somebody get in her ear to do her ex dirty Any, anybody that's been through a divorce it's a heartbreak it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking i think that when you um I think when you know that there's things that you didn't bring into the situation, um, maybe internally, I think internally you can be someone who, how do I say this? You can know you didn't show up. <laughs> you can know I didn't really fight as hard as I wanted to. And maybe I was afraid of rejection. And maybe I was afraid it wouldn't work out. And maybe I was afraid of all these different things. Maybe it's one of those things where you really allowed your fear to stop you from moving in the direction your heart wanted to move in. Like you can allow your ego and your pride to get in the way of fighting for something you actually want. I didn't do that. I fought for it. And that's why I have peace about it. Because I fought for it. And now, mind you, she says she tried to fight for it. She let lawyers get into her ear. She said you had people that didn't show up, but she showed up. That's why she's at peace with it. She never apologized. For the way she allowed things to happen never apologized to tyrese tyrese says she was always speaking on the situation but he never really spoke on her and definitely not in a bad light i can remember that i can remember that so that was samantha lee talking about the situation and once again shout out to my boy andy apple make sure y'all go check him out link in the description for his channel so now we're gonna go over to the video that was covered yesterday by my comrade my sister pink book lessons y'all know what it is check her out so let's see what the brother tyrese had to say about what happened on his side of things all right after swearing under penalty of perjury these are facts. Samantha Gibson got caught in at least 25 lies, maybe 30. Under oath, she said, I kicked her and my one-year-old baby out of the house. She said, I kicked her out of the house. She claims on record under penalty of perjury that I changed the locks on my house. She claims under penalty of perjury that I kicked her and a one-year-old baby out to the streets. I'm Peter Davidson because before 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> but mind you, he said she lied under oath 25, 30 times, said that he kicked his daughter out, one-year-old, and his ex out. That's what he said that she said, lying under oath all the credit cards these are her words that she put on a legal and cut off her credit cards document under penalty of perjury she lied i was in new jersey shooting a movie i got on an airplane and left the set four hours early before i was supposed to I flew to Atlanta, attempting to save my marriage and my family in any capacity I could. She got wind of the fact that I was flying home. Her and her mother, stepfather, her trainer, best friend, Shandrika, they all ran to the house, six, seven deep. 
packed up 50 boxes, left the house on their own. They were never kicked out. They were never put out. That's a lie under penalty of perjury. The credit card that I cut off was not her personal credit card. It was the credit card from a joint account that me and Samantha shared. You leave me, you take my daughter from me, from us. You want me to leave my credit card active that we both shared? So it could be open season to charge my credit card on whatever you want. That doesn't make any logical sense. You packed the ball, you didn't left the house while I was. And remember, he was crying on it. I just want to see my baby. What more do you want from me? That was this lady. I was out of town working on the movie. I have to go back out of town to go finish making this movie. You think I'm about to leave my house wide open for you and all your friends to do a home invasion again? and steal all the out of the house, I still don't know what she took to this day. I got robbed. <laughs> yes, we resided in the same house, but I'm the only one with legal paperwork that says that I actually own the home. So technically I was actually robbed. A home invasion and there were six accomplices that stole all out the house. What did they steal? What did they take? Her belongings? Did they take any of my belongings? I don't know. I wasn't there. She never sent me any photos or videos of anything that was taken out of the house. But one thing's for sure, I never put her and my daughter out of the house. So obviously Samantha lied about getting kicked out of the house. She ran the social media into the court with that story in order to gain sympathy. Tyrese, though, he seems to be surprised with all the lies and manipulation as if he really expected for her to play fair. That's his first problem. And when the locks were changed and I got the receipt with the date, the name of the locksmith company that I used, the locks were changed four days after she moved out on her own. Because after talking to my team, they was like, yo, what if she comes back? The door, the door, the code, what if they come back? They'd be like, oh, we left something in the basement. It could be anything. You should get your locks changed, bro. You're out of town. So that's what I did. Now, what they said that he should do made sense. Now, a lot of these courts don't care. They will still railroad you and he was an excuse where you still did it. You still changed the lock. So she couldn't come back if she wanted to. You still uh, 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 turned up a joint credit card. And he said it was not hers, meaning she had her own ish. But these courts don't care. They don't care. Let's see if we can get him to explain some of that. Of the law, the laws of Georgia, the cost of living in Georgia is very minimal compared to New York, compared to LA. Google it. Most expensive cities to live in and tell me where does Georgia fall on that, which is why a lot of people move here. It does not matter what I make versus what her mother makes. My daughter, Soraya Gibson, has never suffered. From the moment her mother took her out of the house, she has never suffered, she has never been without. Her mother makes well over $150,000 a year, which is good for her. Well-educated, very smart, very articulate, very capable of getting and keeping a job. A very independent, self-sufficient woman, that's the way it's always been. And once she left me, the job that she had prior to us getting together, she went right back to her job and they paid her more because she went from being a social worker to a licensed clinical social worker, which I helped her to become. I was her biggest champion and support system to uh, help her and encourage her in any way I could to become an LCSW, which means that what she's making per year is way more than she was making when we met, she's got her blogs, her podcasts, she's selling meal plans. She's got all kinds of going on. And I'm proud because it does nothing for me to see my ex be away from me or not be with me and just go to the bottom and suffer. That was never the goal. If people work for me and work with me, if I'm in a relationship or not, I don't want anybody to live at the bottom. 
all that Miss Strong and Independent stuff went out the door. Modern women want to be strong and independent. They want to make their own money, but they still want your money. She's now making over $150,000 per year on her own, really because of Tyrese. Being with him, she was allowed to position herself to get there. And then on top of that, now he has to pay her nearly $130,000 per year for a toddler. <laughs> you ain't with me no more. Take that. That's not even how I think. That's not how I move. However, if you happen to be a well-educated woman with multiple degrees, you're smart, you're very capable of having and keeping a job, and you're making well over $150,000 a year, then the actual needs of our child that's now four years old, all of the child's needs from you, mommy, and me, daddy, are all being met. But the problem is she still wants to be able to live that lifestyle. Think about it. And this this is how sad some people are. That's why a lot of us men don't believe women when they talk about, oh, just in case he leaves me, I want to be able to be self-sufficient. Because they get with a guy that got more than them. Nine times out of ten, women want a guy that has more than them. They live hypergamous. So guess what they're going to do? Get with this guy. See that, oh, I'm making $80,000 a year. Or let's say, all right, realistically, <laughs> what women make on their own, what they're doing, all this talking, especially at a young age, say between 20 and 35. She get with a guy who's making $150,000 a year. She's making like $40,000 a year. She's not going to look at that $40,000 that she's so-called being independent and working hard for. It's like, yeah, this is mine. I got my own. I'm proud of myself. You don't need to do nothing for me. Hell no. She going to look at her money and be like, this ain't shit. They're going to go through their relationship or marriage. Things going to happen wrong. And she's going to look at it like, well, his money is my money. And a lot of us idiots make it that way. And then once they get a divorce, she's going to go get her a lawyer. The lawyer not going to really charge her no retainer fees of anything pennies and then they're gonna fight to get the husband for all of his money and make him pay lawyer fees don't care if he can actually afford it they're just gonna look at what he makes take his ass to the cleaners if possible and then all that money she made don't matter no more so if samantha lee was making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year tyrese is making like five million to seven million a year do you honestly think for all them years they've been together living this lavish lifestyle that she's looking at her $150,000, like $150,000 for the person that's in the top 10, top 9, 8%? No, she's going to look at her $150,000 like she's making $40,000, $50,000 because he's a millionaire. So once she ups and leaves, she's looking like, well, I I, I deserve it because I was his wife. You, heifer, you didn't help build it. You don't deserve it. You didn't help build it. You decided to leave five for divorce. And then you mean to tell me that he's supposed to pay you instead of y'all working together? I'm telling y'all fellas, y'all think it's a joke. I know we ain't got his money, but if they can do that to him and they had a prenup, imagine what they can do to us regular cats. The judgment was the judgment. Is anybody surprised? I'm not. Me and my attorney shed light on his racist, aggressive, egregious, illegal, literally illegal. I know he's the judge, but the things that he dropped on us, he grabbed a child support payment from California. Now, y'all pay very close attention to what he's saying. This is the child support situation and brought my child support payment from California here to Georgia. I was paying $2,500 a month on my own with no court order in place since Samantha left me. He turned 2,500 into 10,690. And then he said, yeah, it's good to know you started paying child support on your own. But what I'm gonna do Without a court order, I want your child support payment to be $10,690. He didn't say, let's start today. He said, retroactively, we're going to go backwards to two years ago 
and turn that 2,500 into 10,690 from two years ago. That is illegal. Y'all heard that? Tyrese was already paying this heifer child support to make sure his child was straight. The judge, $2,500 a month, the judge pulls a court order to change that to $10,600 a month. This was about spousal support, which she did not deserve because she got her own money now. But spousal support, not child support. Y'all ever watch some child support uh, um, cases where somebody might try to throw something else in and the judge respectfully and legally abides by what they're supposed to do and says, no, I can't help you. This is for child support. This is not spousal support. This is not alimony. You have to go do your own thing. The judge didn't give a damn. That is illegal. And anybody that's dealt with child support, family court, we know that was illegal bullshit. Straight up and down. You can't do that. <laughs> that part. That is illegal. You violate the terms of my prenuptial agreement. She is supposed to pay 100% of her own legal fees. And you put her legal fees on me. Now, in the prenup, they had it where if anybody wanted to contest what happened in the prenuptial agreements, if anything went against anything, that person had to pay 100% of their legal fees, not the other party. That's what they had in a prenuptial agreement. She has two law firms working for her. I got one. I'm the one with money, right? She's got two different law firms working for her coming after me this woman is diabolical and no i am not surprised but now she's running around youtube trying to be the next chameleon yeah she's trying to give relationship advice to men and women a divorced woman a single woman trying to give people advice like a melanie king and you wonder why so many are stuck in the matrix the two law firms banking on a pot of gold you know what they told samantha yeah, you're making $150,000 a month. Once you pay us a $15,000 retainer, sorry, I take that back, $7,500 is what she paid when she hired two law firms to represent her two years ago. Although she's making $15,000 a month, whatever that number is, with all of her hustles outside of her job, She paid one law firm $7,500 as a retainer. And the lawyers never asked her for any other money. And my attorney in court today asked him, hey, if Samantha's making over $150,000 a year, she's very capable of paying her own legal fees since she's the one who's dragging this entire thing out. So why haven't you guys collected any kind of legal fees while you guys while you guys are representing her? You know what they said in court? What they said? Do you know what her lawyer's response was as to asking her why hasn't she paid any other legal fee? A thousand, three thousand, five thousand? She's spending money on cosmetic surgery. Dang. She's spending money on all kinds of shit she's doing with her life. Shit. The basic needs of a child are all met. So all of this money that you're getting is money that you're getting. So, <laughs> so apparently, man, this is so sad, man. This is why guys got to be careful because that new chick Tyree's got now, I know a lot of y'all seen her. She was talking about she really wanted Paul Walker, God rest his soul. Why would you say that to a man? But this chameleon right here is talking about or acting like she's a good person. This is why I try to tell all my fellas. I'm telling y'all fellas. Same thing BBD said back in the day. Belle Biv DeVoe. Don't 
trust a big butt and a smile. Don't think because a heifer's cute. She got a nice body. Don't go too much off attraction, fellas. Be careful about attraction. Look at a person's character and personality. Now, this whole, I, she got her own, that don't mean shit. If you got more than her, because women don't date down. They do not like to date down. You got females out there that will do that. But nine times out of ten, they're going to be rate you, be little you, and all kind of disrespectful itch. So don't go off of that. But you heard it. The judge disrespected the prenup. We seen that happen with Dr. Dre. Countless men happen to that. Uh, what they say, uh, if you get a woman to sign, she can come back and contest and say she was under duress. In emotional state. And they'll turn that shit over and throw it out. How do, how do you fix that? So you got to really look at a woman's morals and character. More than her looking cute. Trying to tell you. But this helpful right here. And yeah, there was ways I could have handled things differently. But ultimately, I know I fought. I know I showed up. And that's why I have peace. Because I tried. And if there's a, a you know, that's just what it is. And in my in the future, in my, in my future marriage, I would hope that someone would get in the ring with me and fight with me. Even though you the one that hauled ass. How did you show up to fight for the relationship when you showed up with you and your family members? And took a bunch of shit and left that's showing up I'm telling y'all fellas be careful and also be careful about these comedians that talk that talk like they actually on our side like a six the goddess or a melanie king or you know what i'm saying we got all these females out here that do that shit and they lying motherfuckers look at a woman's character you might need to find out some of her history and how she she used to move and why she moved the way she moved now. It's a big way market to get money out here like that. But I don't see Chris and Kira moving incorrectly. I, I believe her husband passed away. God rest his soul. Or a, a pink book lessons who I respect. She moving correctly. She ain't even trying to get out here and be no big superstar, put her face all on the screen. She just dropping gems and information and and let the, the the message and the material speak for itself respectfully them the only two sisters i see that's thorough out here they're the only two sisters i see that that you know show love and respect to men and good women but the rest of these helpers man y'all do y'all due diligence and make sure that they ain't got a sketchy ass past like she does all right man Shit, crazy. Six hundred fifty-three thousand dollars and a hundred and some thousand dollars in child support every month. I'm, I'm sorry, every year that the heifer is getting Tyrese for. And then she told me her next marriage. Man, if a guy see all this and he still marry her, he ain't nothing but a simp ass fool. Damn. This your boy JTL, aka Out from the North Eighteen, aka Big I. Keep telling y'all, man. Y'all be careful out there. Protect yourself at all times. Shout out to Manosphere Highlights, Dallas. And I'm out of here. Shoot!